He ran a 6.862, 193.63 on his Verona Z Buell uh, chip. Uh, you moved from 11th to 1st on that run, and uh, I guess you guys kind of like the cooler conditions in the uh, evening session. Well, we, uh, we've been trying to get the clutch, our clutch straight now. The whole 35 runs I've made on this bike, we've had constant clutch issues with the uh, thing wanting to creep on us. So we came here and tested last Wednesday, and uh, I think we're starting to get a little bit of a handle on it. The first round, we bogged the bike really bad, so that's why we were 11. But uh, I have all the faith and confidence in my, my tuner engine builder, Mom, and uh, Mr. Pippen, our team owner, that uh, we can get this job done. And uh, with that being said, you know, uh, Junior Pippen, our team owner, he, he's battling cancer right now. And uh, for us to come out here and qualify on the pole, that's the best medicine that we can give him, you know. So you've had uh, two number ones this season, three in your career. Uh, what are your thoughts on that run? Two more shots at it tomorrow. Do you think it'll hold? I don't know, you know, it, it depends on the weather. and I didn't even get to look at the data when we got back to the trailer, so I don't know what we left out there. Um, it seemed like a pretty good run. We definitely had a good 60 foot, so, uh, you know, it's just one day, one run at a time. And, uh, you know, I'm just really, really happy for Junior Pippen right now. This is, this is great for him. It's great for me and it's great for our team. I mean, uh, Lon, our tuner engine builder guy, he didn't even leave North Carolina till 3 a.m. on Friday morning. He showed up at the track about 1 or 2 o'clock, and we bolted the motor in, and we were just like flopping around like a bunch of out there trying to get it ready for, for first round last night. And I guess maybe it's a blessing that we didn't get to run last night because we really weren't ready. So uh, I got here early this morning, and we worked on stuff. and. Uh, I mean, the results are, are somewhat speaking for themselves. You know, it's, we've been up and down a lot this year. We've had a really fast motorcycle. We've had a really broken motorcycle. But uh, right now, I'm really happy. You come into this race uh, in 11th place. Now, I guess you're 23 points back, maybe, um, to break it into the countdown. You guys looking at trying to just scrounge every point you can get, obviously? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, I'm not a points counter guy, but in the back of my mind, I know what's happening. I know we got to go one round further than Ellie, who's currently in 10th. And uh, man, there's nothing else I'd rather do than do that. Um, you never know what can happen. You get in that top 10, you get a fast motorcycle that's reliable and they'll stay together, then you can go rounds. So let's we'll see what happens. You probably wouldn't have done any worse than 11th had you made the pass last night. Um. <laughs> Who knows, Tim? You know, we, hey, who knows if the thing would even went down the racetrack? We started right. looking at stuff this morning. I was like, ooh, ooh, like, oh. <laughs> so, you know, I, I'm just, I'm happy to be here with all four and five of y'all. We're just having a good time. I, I did have a question. Uh, I understand you talked to Junior today. Uh, what it was he told you? Let her rip, take her chill. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he ever tells me. He's he's an awesome guy, and he he did say that he's really proud of us because he knows the effort that that we're putting into this deal, and he's putting in just as much effort as we are. And uh, he started his chemo and radiation this week, and he called me on Wednesday. He was up. He's like, man, I feel great. I ain't got no headaches. He called me on Thursday. He's like, man, this shit sucks. So, um, but. Uh, a really positive guy and if anybody can beat cancer junior pivot can and uh, I told Ron down at the end I said man let's get back to the trailer as fast as we can give Junior a call and tell him tell him I know he was listening on the internet but uh, I wanted to tell him personally thanks for giving us this opportunity and uh, let him know that we were doing good because like I said at the beginning that's his best medicine and two uh two two nights of uh, qualifying Officially, and two pink-tailed Pippin Buells, uh, power, yeah, Pippin yeah, powered how about Buells. That? How about being <laughs> Harris, Harris running a Pippin horsepower was number one qualifier last night, uh -huh. and uh, then uh, the flagship for Junior Pippin racing in Corona Sea tonight. So uh, hopefully, I can be up here hanging with you guys tomorrow night. Absolutely, I look forward to it. Thanks, sir. Thank you.
Thank you, Kevin. Thanks for coming to the show. <laughs> <laughs>